Hello people, this is Power here with the review of the DX Shift Dead Heat set for car hard drive. This is the set that includes Shift Dead Heat and Signal Kikan. If the I'm pretty sure they actually Romanized it correctly for once. No Romanization isn't even on there. I guess that's good. Anyways, um this is the um set that um powers up both drive into Drive type dead heat and mock into dead heat mock burst and also can finishes off our signal bike collection with signal key current. I believe that's how they romanize it. Uh, I apologize for this, but anyways, here's the back of the box and basically just has what I'm going to show you compatibility with both drivers so that's pretty cool and you can so let's get these two out so here are the two um i guess items that that come out of the set we're gonna move um can out and look at shift dead heat now shift dead heat's interesting because this is our first signal bike shift car and it's basically a side card, but the side card, card, card being the a majority of it, because the bike part is just this. Like it doesn't have like a um, track like a signal bike does. Um, overall, it its color schemes are really similar to shift speeds and signal mocks, and I want to say same with the design, but not really. Here's the detail of the seat, which I really like. Here's I really like the metallic silver on here. Obviously, it's not consistent here, but um, the bottom this the track and this one is zero seventeen. And as you can see, it doesn't have a lever because it's a signal bike shift cars don't have levers because they this is the next system. They don't need levers. Anyways, to technically do the flip of it. Um, put the signal bike up and clip it in here. Now you got the signal bike shift car formation, and now you can actually see the D, the logo, just like a signal bike. And to flip it back out, there's this tab here, and just do so like that. You can actually take it off too, just to make it like how it first debuted as. But um, this part is pretty small. Also, rolling, it's, it rolls fluently. And in comparison with um, shift speed, this is actually longer because it has to fit in with the scheme of a signal bike. So, here's a signal bike in this case. As you can see, it's about the same length. And well, with the main portion, quote unquote main, it's smaller. So, you know, it would have been cool if Proto Dead Heat was something like that, but there's no Proto Dead Heat. There's um, Proto Rhino Super, but I don't know why I have this up. Anyways, um, Signal Key Ken. It's really unique out of the others because it's. The color scheme is really nice, and um, basically it means warning, and I really like it because, you know, there's the um, bulletin, I think that's what it is, and it, I think it just makes the most sense, like, because, like, Magaru had a torpedo for some reason, even though it's turn left, uh, Kaksan had Gatling guns and torpedoes, while it's just splitting, like, I guess that makes sense, but. And then Tamale had like energy running through it, even though it's stopping. So I think this one makes the most sense in design wise. And I just really like how neon color it is. And the track is also yellow. This one is 083. So um, we're actually going to use Kikan first because um, it's a mock signal bike. So the formation of this review is going to be weird. I want to see what this is. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Transformation. Is it a transformation? I feel like this is off centered. I think it is. I think just certain angles. System. I'm pretty sure we all know what it's gonna do. Pretty typical. Okay, so let's actually go back to the drive driver and use shift dead heat. So to prep it, again to prep it up, just flip it like so and turn the lever. So just like the signal bikes, just insert it. This is the new sound, type dead heat. And unlike most shift cars, again, you can't lever up. So again, just like signal bikes and borrow cars, just press the button to do a finisher. Because it doesn't function like a chef car, it doesn't mean it doesn't function like any of the other types. So you can still, you know, um, tire coke on into Max Flare and such because he did that in show. So you can still tire coke on and such. It's not like you're not limited. Nice drive. Now let's use the mock driver. So we're given a new sound and new set, so just like drives types, we're now given new standby for mock and such, and we can still activate the boost, but with additional sounds. So with Dead Heat, it adds 
first and that ending explosion. So if we do it four times. Now to do full throttle. And also to add to, just like how drive, you can still do tire code cons while they're still the same. If you do a signal code con with um, any code con with the mock driver and dead heat. So the first sound will still carry through, so I'll just do it four times. And same with the full throttle. So I think that's pretty cool. I guess it's kind of obvious what this does. Um, yeah, it makes sense because it's it's mostly mocks, so. So basically it's just, I don't remember if I stated before, but only speed while technique activate with one button. All other drive, all, all of other, all of drives other types like fruits, dead heat, formula, tridron, excluding special because that one's not red as a type, but those you have to do two button presses. So, yeah. So overall, I really recommend this set. It, it's a lot of fun. And you get a lot of sounds from the mock driver. You get like decent sounds from the drive driver, especially with dead heat. But um, Kikan doesn't really again do much on the drive driver because it just continues off of the previous signal bikes that were released. But if you want another drive type chef car, pick this up. Also, to complete your um, signal bike collection because they never bothered to release the other half of the signal bikes and also um it's probably the cheapest um type of car you can actually get because obviously wild you have to get the handle can technique you have to get the door jew shift formula or, yeah formula you have to get the chero tridron is expensive and shift neck special is really expensive too and fruits that one's probably the second easiest to get but um it just kind of depends on you like i would say like i'll probably recommend if you have both drivers get this but if you have one or the other i'll stick i'll say still pick it up but if you don't have a drive driver i wouldn't say it's a high priority but you should still probably get it because of shift dead heat. So that's basically it for this review. So this is a power order. And all of you people.